Hey all, Matt Hepworth here with Studio New and UAD Forums, and I'm going to pack three tips into about a five minute video here. I'm going to go real time, so bear with me. There will be probably a few mistakes. Um, I've got an 11 rack running into the spit if in. I'm not using the Oxbox today, and uh, I'm using a 610B to give it a little bit of tube warmth and also to bring up the gain a little bit since the spit if output on the 11 is a little bit low. Um, I'm using a twin reverb, clean, <laughs> clean, and I'm feeding it with the dreaded metal zone, but I'm not scooping out all the mids, yet a lot of metal is still a little woofy, especially when you do palm mutes. It gets that big swell after. So we're going to deal with that with the Oxford Dynamic EQ. So we could fiddle around with it in here, but I've got a better way. What we're going to do is we're going to record a pass of the part, or at least a close approximation to the part, since I'm pretty rusty on the guitar here. So now I've got our part, and I'm just going to disable record so that we can hear a plug-in since I have low latency monitoring on. I'm going to turn on the dynamic EQ, and I'm going to sweep for the frequency that's building. And we can see with the, uh, there's kind of a frequency analyzer that's in here. <laughs> actually have two treble spots and I'm just going to bring this one in to nail the first one and I'm going to bring a low shelving in to clean up that bottom one and since the it tends to kind of blossom on the low I'm going to slow down my attack a little bit on that <laughs> That works great. And while we're at it, since this is such a great sounding EQ, I'm just going to boost a little bit of uh, clarity in there. And if I turn the threshold down, it works just like a regular EQ. I'm going to bypass it here in the middle. Yeah, it sounds really good. Tip number two, we're going to copy these settings and we're going to be able to paste them right into Apollo's console. So I'm going to come in here, load my dynamic EQ, and I'm going to paste right in there. There we go. Enable that plugin. <laughs> So now I've got exactly the tone I'm after. And with record enable, I can record that tone exactly how I want it. But tip number three, let's say we know we want the UA610, but we don't necessarily want the dynamic EQ. What we can do is we can actually split these by using an aux pre-fader. So I'm going to move this to my aux over here. I'm going to set it pre-fader. I'm going to unmute it. I'm going to mute my original channel send it all the way to the aux there. I'm going to mute my headphone sound just for me. Um, and now what we're going to hear is without that plugin, now I'm going to turn it on. Totally ready to go. So now if I record, I have the option of I could select, you know, my aux here instead and have the fully processed sound, or I could just record exactly how I had it before. My choice. Um, for simplicity, if you get the sound that you like in the beginning, I would just record it that way. But if you're not quite sure, record the ones you are sure on, like that 610, and move the others to an aux, pre-fader, 
mute your channel. There you go. Thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth. See you next time.